Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am here with a couple of G's as always. Let's just start with, you know, Alex Kubo and Fancy and the old Buha of oh, he didn't touch me for five years. Oh, um, he's gay. I was ready to marry him if he was gay. I mean, let's just get right into all that and more. Funny go. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Banigo and I'm an Nigerian content creator based right here in Lagos to the returning and the new subscriber. I see you guys. I appreciate everyone. Please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Help us get to our goal in this year, 2023. And let's just get right into the video. So Nelo KK came outside recently to say a bunch of stuff, which I concur with her. And we're just going to be listening to that audio. I think I'm going to try and just fast track our audio so we don't get copyright issues and all that. But she raised some valid points which I wanted to just buttress or give my thoughts concerning. She was talking about, you know, people being themselves, being their true selves and how, you know, the social media space doesn't allow people to actually be themselves. If you know Nelo Kiki, you would know she's one of those who is not ever, ever afraid to come out and say what's on her mind, even though, you know, sometimes... We feel, according to us, that ah, they look, keep these things in there. But, I mean, that is our personality. And she's trying to make us understand that in this year, 2022, I ain't giving a flipping set about you all. Let's just listen to what she had to say. And you let me know if you agree or not with, you know, what she had to say. For the group of people that always get offended, for the group of people that always have something to say, for the group of people that cannot, never, even though you have something to say, can never say something good, just keep it to yourself this year, okay? Keep it to yourself. In fact, go to your channel, make a video about it. It's totally fine. We don't bring it into people's spaces, okay? When we make video about, say, let's say I make a video about Toke Makinwa or whatever, I don't go to Toke's DM and start saying, look at what I said about it. I think you're this, I think... No, you don't go to her space. It's like having an opinion about somebody, right? Discussing it on the street and versus, more like, versus having an opinion about somebody going to their house. Okay, nah, 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 nah. I came here to tell you that. There's a difference, but people don't get it. People do So... You guys heard Nelo. So Nelo, are you telling us that it's okay to have an opinion about you and discuss it on the street? I mean, even if you say it's not okay, we've been discussing about you guys and many other content creators, which I don't think is going to stop anytime soon, which I try to tell people that reaction is a niche. What Nelo Kike did right here, she's actually reacting to a popular YouTuber. As a matter of fact, she reacted to one popular YouTuber and complimented another popular YouTuber. She reacted to Jackie Aina and complimented, uh, what's her name? Koti EO about Koti, you know, having a very pictorial mind and being able to think of stuff and bring it to light and not give a hood or them about what anybody thinks. Actually, I feel like everyone is entitled to react to people, okay? Just that we are humans and then sometimes our feelings get hurt when we hear what people have to say about us, but that shouldn't deter you or stop you from doing what you want to do. I don't think what people would think about you should stop you from being expressive. But I mean, like when you have to say certain things about people, you should be considerate towards their feelings. That's what makes you human. Especially when you're in a niche like ours, when you are actually talking about people, seeing their life, analyzing what it is they've done or said. It should be considered but if it's in the regards of where you just come to your channel and you're just giving your random thoughts about normal situations i mean i feel like nobody should judge or pinpoint in that regards because i mean you know concern you and if you have so much opinion i mean but nelo keke was saying you should take it to your channel don't come into their dm i mean it's okay for you to still leave it under the the comment section but going into the, someone's inbox to tell them oh yeah 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 this is what i think for you i think that is taking it too far that is my thought but i don't know what you guys think about this anyway that was what she had to say and a friend at daisy was there like saying oh i don't care what anybody thinks about me in this year 2023 and Adeze recently came outside to talk about her. But before we go into Adeze, let's talk about Fancy. Who came out to say Alex Ekubo did not touch her for five years? I mean, when I heard that, I was like, okay, so he didn't touch you for five years. I thought we were trying to say it's good to promote, you know, non-sexual relationship before marriage. I don't know if I can do it though. <laughs> Let me not come and talk like a saint here yeah, for those that will be like, mm, princess, what do you mean? But... I don't know, but at least I want to know that what you have there is, you know, <laughs> you know, at least working. Get. So that is working. You know, so I don't know if 
if five years dating for five years although she was in america and it was in nigeria probably they're traveling back and forth so it wasn't like they were together but i mean not once did they ever get intimate is enough for you to wonder and in kechi blessing did not hold mouth at all as regards to this she had a lot to say let's listen to kechi blessing and i'll be right back <laughs> listen i'm about to say now it's not a shit to anybody but ha i want to date you now you not tell me we will not do I go, what did you sort to it? We will not do. Ah, shake People used to go and buy car. They will test run the car to see if the engine is shak pra pra. I be pay. You want to shop buy suya now? Suya that used to sweet. Shake you first say. I boki na mo testing. On my phone testing. On my toe. You will not know if you have tozo or the beef is kakaraka. Ha. It can't be me, sha. It can't be me. It it can't be me because ah, kidi ta we more do ke in wa ah iro in le duro in le bara duro. You guys said the kechi blessing. The kechi blessing was being dramatic, obviously. But I mean, people encourage godly relationship now. Like so, fancy. What is the cry about? According to fancy, she was ready to still marry him, or even if he was gay or not, she was ready to go in for the long run. Nothing they happen. I won't enter. <laughs> But um, I should know why she decided to end the whole thing. And even though Alex Ekobosi's sister came out to debug the old drama and the old rumor that his brother, they don't have gay in their family, that her brother is not gay. We don't know. But so much has been said about Alex as you guys this, you know, this, you know, thing that Alex is into men. So much has been said about it. And this is no offense to anybody. I have no nothing against you if that is you know your sexual orientation if that is what you're into you know i have nothing against you but i mean we're just having a conversation here so no one should pick an offense anyway let's go into a daisy space who recently called herself fat okay she didn't necessarily say it in those words but she was like you know she knows she's on the big side and she's okay with it um she actually did a video and one of her commenters left a comment showing concern that you know she, had, she she's not married yet she, i don't know if she's married but she has she doesn't have three kids yet but she's she feels like by the time she has kids like a day is a three kids she feels like she's gonna be a, on the big side see you see our weight as women is something that we deal with accepting it or not now you sabi but our weight is something that we do it. I, for one, have been complaining so much about my weight. Mm, you heard me. I've been complaining, trying to skip and do stuff so that I can share this, you know, crazy weight of my body. And I don't think I'm doing enough. But at the end of the day, it's good for you to own up, like, love yourself. I don't think what anybody thinks about you should matter. You should love yourself. Like, self-love is the first thing. And then whatever you can do towards shedding those weight, like Ciro's here on YouTube, she has she she used to be very big, but when I saw her recently, like she's looking so trimmed and you know looking so good. There's nothing wrong with watching your weight, trying to look good, you know, intermittent fast and the likes, you know, just because of our hearts. Because sometimes, most times when you're weight, when you're overweight, when you're big, it also affects your heart. That is the truth. So whatever you can do to just have a healthy lifestyle please feel free go ahead and do it okay if you're big if you're skinny if you're fat i mean the important of all is just having a healthy lifestyle let's talk about editorial who finally came outside to reply the old drama that has been going on so for those that don't know editorial uk family and peace Tom, who stayed with her wasn't her help but i mean she said she wasn't her help but she did the job of a help in the house literally so editorial came outside and she replied and I'm going to be reading a reply for you guys. She actually posted these pictures that I'll be putting on your screen right now. And then she gave this reply to UK possibly. Was she replying UK? Well, I don't know. But this is what she had to say. Posted a dancing and a laughing emoji. Yari, share my 32. <laughs> and then she said, God has already perfected his work in my life and that of my family. See me laughing. Hey, who editor are they laugh? Who is she laughing at like this, my people? Do you guys know who editor is laughing at? Of course, me, I don't know. <laughs> but as I said earlier before, in my previous video, if you've not seen them about this old drama, I did. I have a, I have a couple of videos. You could feel free to check them out. That at the end of the day, at the end of the day, right? 
editorial this is the best time for her to still come out and do her thing and not get trapped in even though she has you know attitude and whatever to work on but this is the time for her to still continue because if you just run enter inside house <laughs> that is the end of your youtube career but you see this time that this heat is going on that is the time to just keep putting out videos and not giving a flipping two cents about whatever i got a comment on. from one of my darling subscriber telling me she loves what i do and that she noticed that i do hair i do makeup and that i should inculcate that into my channel please guys i have a vlog channel where i'll be this year by the grace of god showing all that and more working this braid and i've been wrapping it in different styles i think those are things that i can show you on my vlog channel but i can't do here because this place is for tata for reaction and every other good stuff so please feel, feel free to check out that channel and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in another video bye for now